Well, hello everybody, it's Bill here again, and I'd like to welcome you to the Cracker, the Cracker Cup, Cup Challenge, Challenge number, number six. six. Are you getting sick of that echo voice by now? I'm not. I love it. Uh, so today's new route is rupt, which means to break or burst. But before we get disrupted, uh, we'd better just make sure that we have two sharp pencils or a pen, a whiteboard marker and your word cracker whiteboard, your word cracker recording sheet, and like always, your writing book for when we write a story later on. So make sure they're ready and within reach. All right, so let's get on to our new root, which is rupt. And rupt has a meaning which means to break or burst. Rupt means to break or burst. So can you please turn to the person next to you and in a full sentence, take turns telling each other that rupt means to break or burst. Okay, so let's have a look at some words with the root rupt in them. So that volcano there, uh, it's erupting. So what's happening there is we have something coming out of, E and EX are both prefixes, which means out of, and rupt means to burst. So if something erupts, stuff bursts out of it. Okay, so that's a volcano with hot rocks and molten lava bursting out of it. But you see, it's not only volcanoes that can erupt. Sometimes a class can erupt into chaos, which means very quickly there's been a breaking of what was happening before, and all of a sudden we have chaos. Or if someone tells a really funny joke, a room, a whole room can erupt into laughter. All right, now this one's a little bit more uh, difficult to think about. The word is corrupt. Now, sometimes people in positions of power, unfortunately, take money to do favours. They take money that they shouldn't take, and that behaviour is called corruption. So if we think about the meaning of that word, cor means thoroughly and rupt means broken. So if someone is being corrupt, they are behaving in a way that is thoroughly broken. And ironically, if people are corrupt, it breaks people's trust in them. Here's a slightly easier one. You can see that the corner of that tap has ruptured. So water is coming out. There's been a break in the pipe. So the pipe has ruptured and uh, there's going to be a very expensive call to the plumber, I would say. But you see, it's not just taps that can rupture. You're looking at a picture of a knee there or it's an x-ray of the knee. And that little orange thing in the middle is called the anterior cruciate ligament or the ACL. And that ligament has ruptured. So that's a really common sports injury of the knee. And if you get a ruptured ACL, you're going to have a long time where that's having to fix it, going to have to fix itself. And most of the time you're going to need an operation to fix that. And there'll be about a year's worth of rehabilitation. So that's an awful injury for sports people to get a rupture of the ACL. And then we've got that little fella down at the bottom who is banging on the table and hitting his head and there's lots of swear words above him and a pencil's gone flying. And that behaviour is very disruptive. So people can behave in a way that causes a break in what should be going on. So it bursts what was happening before. So if something disrupts you, it bursts your attention to what you were doing before. So there we go. There's some words with rupt in them. So I think we should now fire up the online cracker and build together some words that have the base rupt in them. So let's go back and clear again. We'll just restart. All right, so let's go to full screen mode and let's make sure that we have on our meanings. There they are, they're already on. And let's bring down rupt and just check out the pattern of the end of this route, just to check that we can just add. There we go. So rupt has a vowel and two consonant end, which means we can just add any suffix, except there'll be one double suffixed word in a moment will do, which we'll have to use a drop E rule, but just one. Okay, let's turn patterning off. The first word we're going to build, which means to burst out of, um, but it doesn't work at the moment. We're going to have to ch scroll through the, there we go. We have to make a chameleon prefix for prefix EX, which is E. We have erupt, and let's bring down the suffix ION, which means act or state of. So we have an eruption, which is an act or, which is a state of something bursting out of something. So can you please 
on your whiteboard uh, uh, with your marker, carefully write the word eruption and then chin it for your teacher to see. Okay, for our next word, let's change prefixes and bring down prefix con, but conrupt doesn't work. We're going to have to find a chameleon. There it is, chameleon, uh, C-O-R, core, which means with or thoroughly. And we were talking before about how people in power can sometimes be corrupt. So can you please on your whiteboard write the word corrupt and then chin it for your teacher? Okay, and we're going to make our next word is going to be a, just a slight variation of corrupt. We're going to bring down a suffix A-B-L-E, which means able to or can be done. Uh, so we have corruptible. So if a person can be corrupted, we could describe them as being corruptible. Could you please write corruptible on your whiteboard and chin it for your teacher? Okay, for our next word, we're going to have to build our own suffix, and we're going to build suffix U-R-E, uh, which its meaning is as a result of. So suffix U-R-E means as a result of. So we're looking at rupture, and now that is a, a result of breaking something. So before, we were having a look at a rupture of the anterior cruciate ligament. So can you please, on your whiteboard, write rupture? and then chin it for your teacher. Okay, that prefix U-R-E is going to have to make room because we're, sorry, that suffix U-R-E, excuse me, a suffix U-R-E is going to have to make room because we're going to bring down suffix E-D to accompany it. And we now have the word ruptured. But you might notice that we've got a double E in a spot we don't want a double E. So we're going to have to use our drop E rule to make sure that we don't have that E on the end of U-R-E in front of that E in suffix E-D. So we've just written the word ruptured, but we had to drop the E off of the suffix U-R-E. So can you please on your whiteboard write ruptured exactly as you see it on the cracker on the screen, please, and then chin it for your teacher. So hopefully no one in the class has ever ruptured a tendon in your body because you're too young to have done it, but sometimes things can go wrong. All right, now let's finish with our last, whoops, our last word. I'd better reset the matrix because I just accidentally deleted something. We'll bring down rupt again. The last word we're going to build is prefixed and suffixed. Let's bring down prefixed dis, which means not apart or away, we've got our root rupt, and let's bring down suffix ing, and we have disrupting, which is an act of breaking people's attention uh, from something else. So can you please write disrupting in your cracker and then chin it for your teacher? Okie dokie. So well done, everybody. Great work on your whiteboard. Let's go back to our PowerPoint and keep moving. All right, so it's time for the Cracker Cup Challenge. You've been waiting for this, haven't you? So you're going to need your Cracker recording sheet and you're going to need a pencil or a pen. The teacher is going to tell you how long you've got to write as many words with the base rupt as you can. But when you see the morpheme matrix, you'll see you, there aren't as many rupt words that can be built as words that we've previously looked at. So you're going to have to work hard with this. So teacher, can you please decide on the time that you're going to give students? And teacher, can you also please decide whether students are going to be looking at the matrix or not to do this? I would highly recommend you let them peek for this one. Okay, so when your teacher says go, as many rupt based words as you can in your cracker recording sheet.
Okay, so I hope you got a few there. So teacher, you quickly know how to find out your leaderboard, your cracker cup holder, by quickly using hands up to check who has how many words. And uh, also teacher, when you um, think you've discovered your leader, your cracker cup holder, you can decide whether or not to use the uh, challenge protocol, which is just there on the left of screen. Okay, so let's move on to Cracker Challenge Part 2, and we're going to need our writing book for this, and we're also going to need to make sure that we are sitting nice and straight with our feet on the ground, no slouching while we write. So the teacher is going to decide two things. Number one, they're going to decide how much time you've got to write your story with as many of your rupt words as you can, and they're also going to decide on the scoring protocol. So there's a suggested scoring protocol there, but teacher, can you please decide what you're looking for as well as as many rupt words as the students can come up with? And teacher, when you're ready, you can set the class going on their story writing. Okay, everyone, it's time for story scoring. So can you, teacher, please make sure the scoring protocol is up and students very carefully count your score. Okay, and now the part you've been waiting for. Would love to hear some people's stories with Rupt in them. So teacher, can you please choose a few people to share their stories? And everybody else, remember, if you're not sharing a story, it's your job to resist the temptation to disrupt others by talking when you shouldn't be. So just make sure you're listening and tracking and showing respect to the people who are sharing their stories with their Rupt words. Well, everybody, that's the end of our session on the root rupt, which means to break or burst. So I hope that was a, a fun disruption from the normal things you were doing today. Make sure you have a cracking day. Thanks for tuning in.